Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to discuss about how to install Power BI and um, what are the interface available in the Power BI, which is the latest version and all about, you know, the interface of the Power BI. So what we need to do is we have two options to install Power BI. First, you can directly install from the Microsoft Store. Second, you need to install directly from the Microsoft official website. So what you need to do is you just need to search for Microsoft Power BI. Just write Microsoft Power BI download. Once you just write Microsoft Power BI download, you will see a one website which is download Power BI desktop. If you click on this website, you will see that, uh, you know, you, you will get an option to select the languages as well. So there is an advantage with Power BI that it is available in multiple languages, but we're going to install it in the English itself. And you can hit on the download button. Okay. As soon as you hit on the download button, automatically Power BI download will will get installed in your system and uh, it is totally depend on your system configuration. If your system is 32 bit, you can go with this 390 MB version of the Power BI. And if your system is 64 bit, then you can go with the 428 version of the Power BI as well. Both have the same features. You don't need to worry about anything in here. Okay. And once you select any of the option in here, you can hit on the download button and automatically the Power BI will get download in your respective system, okay? So if you click on the download, you will see that Power BI get started downloading, okay? I will pause it as of now because I have already downloaded it using the same process. So this is the first process that you can download Power BI from official Microsoft website, or you can go to the Microsoft store as well, okay? So if you go to the Microsoft store, there is a multiple apps available in the store. So just search for Power BI desktop. Okay, so what I'm going to do in here is, yes, just write Power BI desktop in here. And once you write Power BI desktop, you will see the button called install. Okay, as of now, I have already installed it. That's why it is like, you know, the button is highlighting open in here. So you can directly install it from Microsoft Store. And once you install it, you can hit on the open button. Let's say in future Power BI will give you an update. There is more updated features in the Power BI. You want to work with the Power BI latest version. So you can directly go to the Microsoft Store and hit on the update button. That's how you can update the Power BI as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is once we install Power BI, then click on the open and automatically the Power BI will open in your system. Now the question arises, can, uh, yes, uh, that Aditi can be, you know, install Power BI on the MacBook as well. So the answer is no. As of now, we can't install Power BI in the MacBook. If you want to use Power BI in the MacBook, you have two options. Either you can use a virtual Windows OS in your MacBook or second, you can use Parallels. Parallels is the software in the MacBook or provided by iOS, which will help you to run Windows virtually. Okay, so this is, these are the two options for the Mac users in here. So as soon as you install Power BI, you will see the version like this. Okay, so now when it comes to the version, guys, so there are two versions basically. In one version, the visualization pane is at the corner, as you can see in here. And there is a second version, whereas the visualization pane is at the top. Both the versions are completely okay. You can work with both the versions. They are quite same. Fine, but in this series of the video, I am not using this version, okay? So if you are if you are getting this version, what you need to do is go to file, go to options and settings and go to data source settings. OK, in data source settings, you will see that if you have uploaded any data in here. So as of now, I have not uploaded any data. So I'll go back to the file and go to options and settings. And as of now, click on options only. When you click on options uh, or once you click on option, you will see a multiple uh, features available in here. And you just need to go to preview features. And for an example, you are uh, getting all the box unchecked in here. What you need to do is just check mark all the boxes. Okay. Once you check mark all the boxes, you need to hit on the OK button. So I'll check mark the complete boxes in here and click on OK button. And once you click on OK, it will ask you to restart the Power BI. So I'll hit on the OK button again. 
So um, it will restart the Power BI. It will take only uh, two to three minutes and then you will see the visualization pane at the top. Okay, and once it uh, get on the top, then you can uh, watch out the other videos presented in the series as well to complete your whole reports and uh, to start with the visualization as well. Okay, so let me restart the Power BI and show you the interface where we're going to work in the series. So guys, I have restarted the Power BI and uh, as you can see, once I have you know, check mark all the options in the preview features. You'll see now the visualization pane is at the top. Okay. So in the entire series, we're going to work with this interface of the Power BI. So make sure that you install it and uh, I will see you in the next session.